Hey everyone, since the start of this pandemic, I think a lot of us are disappointed in these American adults that refuse and purposely avoid looking at data. Data is data. Data is not disrespectful. Data does not have a motive. Data is data and data is really important. We are adults. Adults are supposed to keep this country growing. Adults are the backbone of the United States of America. When you don't have these adults looking at data and facts, but always putting their feelings first, it's exactly what happens right now in the United States of America. It is complete emotional chaos. Since this pandemic started, there has been elites who have forced the entire world population to essentially adopt a communist medical regime by forcing us to only listen to the CDC and the WHO. Even when there was other medical professionals that were trying to speak out about different treatments for COVID-19, the elite social media regime would ban them and censor them. They would even lose their jobs, lose their practice, which is a whole nother very, very scary problem. But since we have been all forced to adopt and follow this medical regime, then why is it so hard to just follow the CDC data? History is going to look back at this time in 2020 and be like, wait a minute, these so-called American adults refused to follow the data, the data that they were forced to follow by the CDC, the data that shows that children have a very small chance in getting COVID-19 and even a smaller chance in passing COVID-19 on to an adult. So you're telling me that these American adults allowed children to not go back to school, fall behind and miss milestones of development, forced these children to stay at home with their abusers. They even understood that suicides and mental health issues were increasing and yet children still didn't go back to school because the adults refused to look at the data. Dr. Robert Redfield from the CDC came forward and said, the CDC never told schools to close. We never supported the closing of schools. Dr. Robert Redfield made a point that every kid should be back in school. It is now the middle of February and there are still schools closed. There are still children out of school. These children are continuing to fall behind on their development. This is not okay. This is embarrassing. History is going to look back and every single person who chose to not follow the data should be embarrassed. So before I tell my story, I just wanna say I am very proud of the school district that I work in. I'm proud of how they handled the pandemic and handled doing what's best for the students and the community during COVID-19. I've talked to and heard about how other districts handled it. And honestly, I feel like our district should get some type of recognition because we followed the data and we did what's best for the community that we serve. With that said, the other day, my coworkers and I were having a meeting. It was a special education meeting. And one of my coworkers brought up how a student is really struggling with having to wear the mask because the mask is obstructing their speech and hindering their learning. And the coworker had asked the teacher if it was okay if that student wears a shield instead. However, the teacher didn't feel comfortable with that. And I completely respect 
the teacher's reservations. The teacher has every right to verbalize how she feels while she's teaching that class. However, during the meeting, we were trying to problem solve. Okay, so what can we do to help this student be successful if the student has to wear a mask but isn't being successful and the student can't wear a face shield instead? Evil me suggested that, you know, if it comes down to it, we could always present the CDC data to the teacher to give the teacher a peace of mind and show the teacher that based on the data, it is very rare that children, especially first graders, get COVID-19 and even pass it on to adults. The energy, the vibe in the room totally changes and immediately somebody shuts down the suggestion to look at the data. Here is a definition of data that I found on Google. Data is information, especially facts or numbers, collected to be examined and considered and used to help with decision making. It's a pretty fantastic definition, especially when it comes to decision making within the school environment of whether children should go back to school or whether we should force children to wear masks for eight hours a day. It seems pretty important, pretty logical. It seems like a pretty adult thing to do, right, is to look at the data, especially with special education students. Because again, our job in special education is to, by law, accommodate for students in special education. Immediately after I suggest looking at the data, one of my coworkers started saying, well, I don't I just don't think that would work because people cherry pick their data all of the time. I could say that my data is good and you can say that your data is good. We could have a data fight and then we just wouldn't get anywhere because that's the thing, like there's not just one set of data. So I brought up, well, actually, unfortunately, we have been forced under this medical regime to only follow the CDC and the WHO. So since that's the case, then we can follow the CDC data and present it to the teacher. Well, yeah, but the data is always changing. And, you know, I just, I just don't think it's a good idea. It would get people upset. What? Why on earth? Are we politicizing data? Why is it that when somebody brings up data, it is somehow interpreted as a political suggestion? I have a lot more respect for that coworker because although I felt very disrespected after I suggested data, that coworker came into my office later and apologized to me. So I mean, it just gives me hope that people can have dialogue and, you know, that just sometimes we can agree to disagree and still work with each other and still be okay. After this coworker started saying how they don't really think data is a good idea, another coworker of mine told me that I was being disrespectful and that bringing up data would only disrespect the teacher, the teacher that has been working in that district for a very long time. So me bringing up the importance of data to give that teacher a peace of mind so that we can best provide special education services for that student who is not succeeding because of the mask is disrespectful. Yep. It's so sad. And it's not just this district because I honestly am really proud of my district. I think my district is doing a really good job handling COVID. In general, I haven't seen any school nurses put out a newsletter saying how we can build our immune system strong. I haven't heard any teachers talk about data across the country. I haven't heard any nurses and doctors talk about how we can have a strong immune system across the country. It's like, Americans, wake up. Wake up and use your mind. 
The government is not my mommy. The government is not my daddy. I don't trust the government. I trust myself. We're all very smart. I just think that we've gotten so comfortable. We've all fallen asleep. And now we don't really think for ourselves. And then when somebody does think for themselves, they are the bad guy. They're the ones that are shunned.